kuna hali saba za moyo ambazo lazima miliki awe nazo the possessor must have ukimuona mtu yoyote ambaye Mungu amemuinua when you see anyone that God has raised ama Mungu amepa baraka or God has blessed Oh my god lazima hizi hali saba za moyo these seven condition of the heart he must have it hizi hali saba za moyo lazima awe nazo na kumbuka huwa anasema kila wakati and remember i always say tukishaanza kuongelea issue ya moyo when you begin talking about the issue of heart asilimia za Mungu hapo ni 20 katikati ya 100 God's position there is 20% Asilimia 80% zote ni za kwako. All 80% Ndio maana Biblia inasema maandalio ya moyo. This is the Bible say preparation of the heart. Halafu jawabu la ulimi latoka kwa Bwana. But the answer of the tongue comes from the Lord. Wanga hapo ananielewa kitu tunasema. Tukishataja tukitu moyo. When you mention what you call Uwe na uhakika ni wajibu wako kuhusiana na moyo wako. Be assured that is your responsibility your relationship with so, God. Kusuli la Mungu hapo katika na nafasi ya Mungu inakuwa 20% 80% inabaki kwa kwako. So in the issue of heart, God's responsibility is only 20%. Na hizo 20 nimezipa ili usije ukamwona Mungu ni mdogo nitaka niseme 80%. And this 20% I say because don't consider God is small but I might say 1%. Wanga hapo ananielewa kitu nasema. Tukishaanza kuongelea moyo. When we begin talking about heart. Nimesema ndio maana Biblia inasema maandalio ya moyo ni ya mwanadamu. This what the Bible say preparation of the heart are the man's lakini jawabu la ulimi latoka kwa bwana but the answer of the tongue comes from god na ndio maana biblia inasema linda sana moyo wako this one the bible say keep your kuliko heart kuliko vyoto ajasema nitakusaidia kulinda it not say i'll help you to keep your heart anasema linda wewe mwenyewe god say keep your heart moyo wako keep your heart kuliko vyote uvilindavyo than all the things you maana ndiko zitokapo chemichemi za uzima because that's where comes the for the foundation ukisema nimejeruhiwa sana if you say i'm so hurt bro shida sio walio kujerui the problem not the people hurt you shida ni ya kwako ukisema amenivunja moyo sana if you Hello? say someone has broken my shida, heart shida sio walio kuvunja moyo the problem they're not the one shida ni ya kwako that's your own problem umeruhusu moyo wako you allowed your heart kujeruhika to be broken umeruhusu moyo wako you allowed your kuharibika ukisema wameniharibu moyo wangu oh, they destroyed my heart nilikaa uko kwenye kanisa this kind of church hiyo mwanaume ameharibu moyo wangu this man destroyed my heart eh mema moyo wangu listen unapotamka namna hiyo lazima ujue when you speak like that much no shida sio ya alia sababisha problem with the one who caused tunapozungumzia moyo we'll talk about the heart tunazungumzia wajibu uliopewa we'll talking about your personal responsibility personal Mungu ameruhusu na ndio maana ingekuwa Mungu anaingilia mioyo ya watu dunia nzima watu wangekuwa wameokoka wote. If God intervened in the hearts of men all the world all people would be born again. Ndio maana anasema tazama nasimama mlango. Yes I say behold I stand at the door. Bona fikiri Mungu angekuwa anaingilia mioyo ya watu si watu wote wangekuwa wanasema Yesu ni bwana wote wangesema. If God intervened in the hearts of men all people would be born again. Lakini anasema nasimama mlangoni na bish. But he says I stand at the door to akinisikia. If someone here hatanifungulia mlango maana kini mimi Mungu huwa nataka niongee na mioyo ya watu. That means I go Huwa pesha kwenye mioyo ya watu. Yeyote atakayenisikia akanikaribisha moyoni mwake. Ninaingia na kufanya makao ndani yake. I enter and make a dwelling place in his heart. Ikishasemwa moyo, when I speak heart, kumbuka wajibu wako. Remember your responsibility. Kwa hiyo ukisema umenijeruhi, if you say someone is hurt me, Oh my god, jua shida sio walio kujerui. Kwa sababu tena achana na kwa sababu kuna watu wanaanza kukwaza hata wasijua amekukwaza. Uh, people can offend you. Yaani kuna watu yamkini umebeba moyoni unafikiri ni maadui zako maskini ya Mungu hata hawa wao wenyewe wanakushangaa kwa nini uongee nao. Some people carry in your heart think you are enemies they don't know why don't you talk to them. Wao wenyewe wanashangaa mbona siku hizi unanuna kama kitunguu maji. That is their surprise why do you make a long face today? Wanasema huyu mtu vipi? They say this man was wrong. Maskini kumbe kwenye maongezi maongezi tu ulichomeka na kautani kautani kengine wala hata uko umemaanisha wakakabeba wakasema unaona ananidharau huyu prevention conversation you put in some joke and they think you despise them unakuta na mtu anamwambia ah leo umepiga baba you met a person ah today you look smart naona umevaa umevunja kabati ah today you are so smart mwenzako anatoka hapo amelibeba moyo wake ina maana siku zote ananionaje someone take that in the heart say Yaani amenionaje siku zote? How does he take me? Anaanza kuchukulia adui wa mbali sema unaona huyu jamaa eh? Ananidharau sana. Wewe ulimwambia kwa utani, kwa upendo, lakini mwenzako amelibeba moyoni. But now it's carried it in the heart. Wanga hapo ananielewa kitu tunasema. So unapohusisha moyo, so when you talk about heart. Lazima ujue umehusisha 
wajibu wako asilimia themanini na Mungu asilimia 20. You must know you involve your responsibility 80%. Lazi hivyo. Otherwise, utajikuta unabeba watu moyoni bila sababu. You will find yourself carrying people in your heart without any reason. Na kama unataka kuelewa vizuri kuhusu moyo, if you want to understand very well about the heart, YouTube nimefundisha siku moja inaitwa state of the heart. Nafikiri miaka miwili iliyopita huko. Get the YouTube and look and the uh, atakayesikiliza ile mazomo nadhani kuambia utakuwa jitu la rohoni. If you follow that you will be the giant on the spirit. Lakini kumbuka, but remember, tunapoongelea moyo, we we'll talk about the heart. Mungu akitaka kukuua, if God want to kill you, ama shetani akitaka kukumaliza kabisa, or one certain want to finish you completely. Moja ya kitu anafanya huwa anajeuzaga moyo. One of the things he does he turn round the heart. Eh. Kwani alimfanyaje farao? What did do to Pharaoh? Suna sikia anasema nikaufanya moyo wa Farao kuwa mgumu. He said I'll make the heart of Pharaoh to be hard. Kuna saa there are times Mungu anaweza akaufanya moyo wako mgumu ili akuaibishe. God can can harden your heart to put you to shame. Na shetani akitaka kuharibu vizuri zaidi. And when Satan want to to restore Moja akitoa anakifanya anageuza pia moyo wako kabisa. One of the things he does he turn your heart completely. Unashangaa unakuwa na moyo wa hasira. You are surprised you have the heart of anger. Unakuwa na moyo usio na toba. With the heart which is not repentant. Unakuwa na moyo fulani hivi. You have a certain heart. Ule moyo wa don't care. That you know, don't don't care heart. The heart of don't mind, don't care. Ah, uh, yalishi. Whatever. Watu wakifika kiwango hicho ndo wanaweza wakasema. When people come let me mention they will say, nimeacha kanisa sijamwacha Mungu. I stopped the church but not God. Mimi kila ninapokutana na mtu ambaye adui amemjeruhi Every time I meet a person the enemy has this Huwa anatafuta vitu viwili. I normally advise them to Hai uwezekani watoto wa Mungu shetani akatushinda kama vitu vile havijahusika. It's not possible for Satan to overcome us if not two things. Moja ikiwa tumepoteza utii kwa Mungu lazima shetani atushinde. If one we have lost to be to God Satan must overcome us. Shetani yuko makini sana kutafuta mlango wa wewe kutokumtii Mungu ili aharibu kazi yako. Satan is very keen to search the door for you not to obey God so that. Lakini mbili. Second kukosa maarifa missing knowledge kwa hiyo hakuna namna so there is no way because always spirit takes advantage of our ignorance and our disobedience kwa chafu hunufaika na kutokuti kwetu kwa hiyo roho za giza so the spirits mara nyingi zinatumia kukosa kwetu maarifa kutuangamiza always take advantage of our lacking of knowledge si bibi anasema mkikubali na kutii mtakula mema ya nchi si ndio bali mkikataa na kuasi mtaangamizwa kwa upanga anayeangamiza ni nani si Mungu adui anatumia mlango wa kutokuwa na maarifa kuangamiza watu the enemy is using our lacking of knowledge to kill people kwa habari ya moyo nimesema cha kwanza kisha kuwa moyo ni habari yako cha pili shetani ama Mungu anapotaka kudundili na mwanadamu anachofanya nini anajeuza mo jambo la tatu kisha shtukia moyo wako umejeuzwa rudi haraka kwenye toba yes mungu anawapenda watu wa namna hiyo when you find your heart has been destroyed come back to repentance god is like ukigeuka when your heart is turned round yani ukishasikia tu when you feel baada ya kupata hela after you get money kile kirele cha mungu kimeisha that thing of being you know with god yani ukishapata hiyo akili umepona When you have that mind you are Ukishaona umeinuka when you see you are raised Karikati ya wachungaji amidst the pastors kila mtu anakusifia everyone praises you na ghafla ukaona kama kakiburi kamekuja ndani yako and suddenly you feel like a slime so ukijishtukia the moment to design it anza matengenezo begin to repent kwa sababu Mungu anawapenda watu wa namna hiyo because god loves such people always mara nyingi god love people who are making reconcile with him mara nyingi mungu wapenda watu wanaopenda kupatanishwa na yeye hii ndio tafsiri ya heri wapatanishi maana wataitwa wana wa mungu blessed are the peacemakers because they be called lakini sasa wewe ukishajua alafu kaignore kasema haina shida so if you know and then you ignore it say no problem unakaribia kwa kufa mwaya you are almost dying Sema mimi na kaona nielewa. Say amen. Now hizi hali saba lazima uwe nazo unapoendea milki. And you must have these seven conditions as you walk ya kwanza, dominion. Moyo wako lazima uwe na hali ya unyenyekevu. Your heart must be humble. 